Hey YouTube, uh, this is Vargas and I am back again with another DVD update. Uh, this is a kind of special one because I got these DVDs uh, at a flea market and it's been, I don't know how long since I've been able to go to a flea market. Uh, I was really hyped, I was really excited and uh, unfortunately I, I did get some really cool stuff but I didn't get um, as much as I used to back in the day. Uh, back in the day I, I could find a whole bunch of DVDs now, there weren't that many people that were selling DVDs. Uh, there was a lot of people selling stuff, and uh, that was cool. I did pick up a um, little bit of Halloween stuff here and there, but unfortunately, I didn't find um, as many DVDs as I would have liked, which is okay, because you could argue that I already have a lot of DVDs, and I still keep buying a lot of DVDs. But, but I was hoping to find uh, more than I did. But I still came out with some really good stuff that I wanted to share. So, first off, still sealed, still brand new. Um, don't think I've ever seen this one. Strictly Business. With uh, Joseph C. Phillips, Tommy Davidson, who I think was in Living, in, in living Color. And Halle Berry. So, yeah, I, I, I can't remember if I've, I, I've ever seen this. But it was new, sealed, and I got it super cheap. I got it for like a quarter. So that was pretty cool. Uh, another one I don't think I've seen. Um, Just Visiting. With John Renault, Christina Applegate, Christian Cavalier, and uh, Tara Reed On the back there. So it's about a knight and his squire that get transferred to modern times. So I was like, well, that sounds interesting. And it has Christina Applegate and John Renault. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick that up. So, But I never come across this DVD. Picked up, finally, uh, I, I can't believe it's taken me this long to add this one. It's debatably not a good movie. Uh, definitely not as good as the original. But I picked up Week Weekend at Bernie's 2. Uh, Weekend at Bernie's is, is really cool. And this one, they... they kind of play the, the the joke to the ground especially because Bernie is not decomposing and they there's some voodoo thing that they did to kind of like animate him <laughs> but uh, yeah we can we can at Bernie's picked up bushwhacked I've been trying to get this one for a while I finally got it a um, little bit of sun damage on the side which is always annoying but yeah bushwhacked <laughs> I remember the the commercial to this like Bushwhacked, and uh, someone would say something and be like, Bushwhacked, just really weird. Uh, the guys had um, uh, the, the guy, uh, the guy from Home Alone, is in this. Uh, Daniel Stern, and he's really playing up the the uh, physical comedy. But yeah, really happy I got Bushwhacked. Uh, through Power Movies a while back, uh, I picked up season. Well, the only two seasons of Dead Like Me. And I mentioned that there was a um, movie that resolved all the plot lines for that. And uh, I found the movie. This is Dead Like Me, Life After Death. And this is the conclusion movie to that series. That I really wish Pushing Daisies would have gotten something like this. But yeah, it basically just uh, uh, gives closure to a couple of things from the TV show. And uh, it does set up something else. But again, it's a conclusion to the to character. So uh, yeah, Dead Like Me, Life After Death. So I now have the complete Dead Like Me series. Uh, picked up this one because I've mentioned this before. Christmas movies are a weird thing to collect for. Some of them are really good. Some Christmas movies are really good. Some Same with the Christian movies. Uh, some are amazing, well-acted, well-performed, good story, good uplifting story. Same with Christmas movies but some Christmas movies get really weird and that's why I enjoy about collecting and this is from the ABC family uh, home media 25 days of Christmas uh, holiday in handcuffs uh, and it's about um, Sabrina the teenage witch that's um, handcuffed to Slater and uh, she has to be with her family because she doesn't have a boyfriend but so she kidnaps Slater and handcuffs him so now they have to pretend that they're like a couple but they have to hide the handcuffs it's weird <laughs> but that's why I like collecting 
Christmas movies because you come across some really weird stuff. Uh, picked up a copy of Detroit Rock City. Uh, also been trying to get this one for a while. I, I only came across it once many, many years ago in the wild. Uh, but unfortunately, I by that point, I had already bought a whole stack of uh, DVDs and I, I just couldn't afford that one. And I always regretted not getting it, but uh, I really like the cover. Very reminiscent to um, to like uh, something you would see in Mad TV, uh, Mad TV, uh, Mad Magazine. Uh, and it's about, if I remember correctly, it's about these these guys that want to uh, get to a Kiss rock concert. So yeah, finally got a copy of that. This one is one I might have seen based on the cast. Stars Michael Richards uh, from Seinfeld, Jeff Daniels, and Charlize Theron. Trial by Trial and Error. Where uh, Jeff Daniels is a lawyer and he gets his friend that's an actor to help him out with a case. And uh, yeah, I can't, I must have seen it, but I don't really remember it. But uh, good old snapper case. And uh, cool, I got that. This one I I own, but um, I didn't, because I, I know I have the remake of Escape. Uh, to Witch Mountain, and I always get confused whether or not I'm missing Escape to Witch Mountain or Return to Witch Mountain. So I saw this one, still sealed, uh, has the new to DVD logo, but this is Escape to Witch Mountain. And uh, I was looking over my Disney collection, and I, I do have Escape, but it's a different cover than this. So that's something that threw me off. Uh, my buddy Movie John does uh, a video series called uh, Collector Problems. This might be an idea for Movie John that you you know. You're thrown off by a different cover, and you think like, I don't have that. I think, and you buy it because <laughs> it's a different cover. Because the one I have is like um, has the the picture of the two kids, but it has like a gray line here and here, and says "Return to uh, Escape to Witch Mountain um, DVD Collector Series." And then uh, this one has it says a special edition, and it has a couple of special features on the back, but. Uh, I need to pull out the the one that I have, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure I double dipped. But this one's still sealed, so yeah, again, that that cover threw me off. Picked up uh, Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan uncut. Uh, this is uh, the English dub. Um, I've seen the Spanish dub a whole bunch of times, and I have the I have this. Uh, um, release, but it's the edited version, and I wanted to get the uncut feature, and this one is the an upgrade because it has three versions it has the uh, English uh, Dolby English normal and original Japanese and so I have the uncut version of Broly as well as the edited cut of Broly so sweet picked up Street Fighter Alpha the movie uh, I've been wanting to get this one for a while because I, I, I like Street Fighter I have the uh, Street Fighter 2 the movie and I needed Street Fighter Alpha, the movie. And I do want to get Street Fighter Alpha 2 um, Generations, I think it's called. But yeah, really like this one and uh, awesome that I got it. And this one, another Christmas movie. But this one I, I have heard through, um, I've mentioned this before. Uh, Brad Jones, a.k.a. The Cinema Snob, uh, does movie reviews uh, at the car. Well, he used to do it at the car. And then he would do his uh, show, The Cinema Snob. And um, he, he showcases uh, some Christmas movies from time to time in December. And he mentioned this one, and I was like, that sounds weird. I want to get it. And it's Christmas with a capital C. And this is uh, the movie, a movie where people are trying, are trying to... Um, you know, it's one of those movies that the people are trying to get rid of Christmas and they want to take out the nativity scene from City Hall because reasons. And it's about these uh, these two people that, you know, are against that. And, and uh, you know, it, uh, one of the Baldwins, which uh, Daniel Baldwin is, is the bad guy because he's the one that wants to, you know, screw with everything. Uh, but the way that the, the cinema stop described it, it was like, that's crazy. I need to see it. And uh, I, I'm the type of person that, uh, you know, if everyone in the world says that a movie is bad, I want to see it for myself uh, to make my, my own judgment. You know, I, I, I don't like, you know, not seeing a movie 
because everyone in the world says it's bad. I want to see it for myself. And if it's bad, I was like, well, damn, everyone was right. That that was a really bad movie. But sometimes, uh, you know, looking at videos on YouTube, I see a lot of people dump on a movie. And then I watch it, and it wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of good. It, it has its details, but I had fun. I enjoyed it. it made me laugh. So, um, yeah, that's that's the kind of movie goer that I am and movie collector. If... if if I see something that's weird or piques my interest, I, I want to track it down and get it. And that's how I got Christmas with a capital C. So, yeah, got that. So, I I, I forget. Uh, I, I am an old man at this point. I I, I forget stuff. <laughs> um, but when I do remember, I, I, I recommend the standout of the haul. Um, and, the, yes, there are a lot of blind buys. There's a lot of stuff that I, I need to watch and or revisit. But I'm going to go with Dragon Ball Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Uh, this is pretty cool. And this is the... Because in Mexico, we would get the uncut versions. And in America, they would edit certain stuff. Uh, in Mexico, we're okay with some of the stuff that... Well, not a lot of it, but we're, we're kind of... When it comes to anime, we're a little bit more open-minded with some weird stuff from Japan. Uh, and so I grew up and would watch the uh, Mexican version of Broly. And I do want to get the Mexican version of Broly because of the Spanish dub. But uh, the version that I have, the edited version of Broly, does have stuff that's taken off and that kind of, based on memory, throws me off. So I'm, I'm super happy to get this one. Uh, the S Dragon Ball Super uh, reimagining of Broly is interesting. But yeah, this is the one that I, I, I grew up and I do want to get the Spanish uh, dub of that one because that's, this one is really cool. So that's my recommendation. I have uh, one more video to record and to share with you guys. Uh, it's uh, the comeback of a uh, movie seller that I hope, you know, will stay. But I'll get into that in that video. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and comment if you would be so kind. If you've come across my channel and you like what you see, please subscribe. But until I see you all again, guys, uh, take care and I'll see you in a bit.